The Hawker P-1127 is the only name so far of the revolutionary aircraft the first filmed in flight at Dunsfold. Chief Test Pilot Bill Bedford was about to show how it can rise vertically, level out in the air, then fly forward. If you say that's been done before, what's new? Here's the answer. The P-1127 is the first plane to do it with only one engine. Directed downwards, the nozzles of the Bristol Sidley Pegasus lift the plane straight up. They're then tilted to horizontal, and away she goes, capable of nearly the speed of sound. Tilt the nozzles down again, and the aircraft can practically land on a sixpence. What about vertical landing for human beings, or skydiving, as they now call it? The sport attracts girls almost as much as men. Some competed at Perth in the Scottish Open and National Parachute Championships. That's the target. The competitor nearest to it in three jumps will be the winner. Timekeepers check the delayed drops. People who have never used a parachute marvel at the sheer nerve it must take to step out of an aeroplane thousands of feet up to say nothing of falling for 10 seconds before opening the chute. Peter Denley of Scottish Parachute Club was followed by a member of Heidelberg Sports, Gene Ackley. Cool customers, these skydivers, guiding themselves to the target from 5,000 feet. Terry Jickles, only inches away from the bullseye. Better still, Shirley Vansdahl of Swindon. Mike Riley won the first prize. He's a member of the Ripcord Club and received the Shandy Trophy from Lord Provost Young. When friends invite Mike to drop in sometimes, he's the boy to do it.